Pisces. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. All right. So this is going to be what's coming towards you um, for the 15th through the 31st. All right. So from December 15th through the 31st, what energy is coming towards Pisces? Okay. This is for sun, moon, and rising Pisces, okay? Sun, moon, and rising Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces for the month of December from December the 15th through December the 30th, okay? What energy is coming towards Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising, please. What energy is coming towards Pisces? Look here, we have romantic feelings, okay? So your feelings are real and worth exploring. So maybe some of you guys are having romantic feelings. Uh, hmm. Maybe some of you guys got engaged in the past or you're leveling up in love or your love life is, you know, going to a higher level of commitment. I see calling in your soulmate. So some of you guys are using affirmations um, or are feeling the need to um, use affirmations or visualization to bring that love to you, bring the love to you that you want. Okay. And then for the future energy, we have love yourself first. Okay. Love yourself first. This is going to be for future energy. So your self respect, your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, which I wholeheartedly agree with that. Okay, so let's see what clarifiers we have for Pisces. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have you Pisces here with this high priestess card. Okay, so maybe some of you are standing, decided to stand up for yourself, stand your ground, or your intuition is telling you that you need to stand your ground. Some of you guys possibly have gotten engaged here or someone has expressed their emotions to you or expressed how they feel. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is what I'm getting here as well. As well, yeah, Virgo energy too. I definitely see some of you guys have been searching, have been possibly... Um, doing some inner work here i do feel like we have virgo taurus capricorn aries as well as sagittarius aries um leo energy here as well but i do feel like some of you guys are taking your time to get everything under control before you make a certain decision or make a move I feel like going into the near future, a, a lot of you guys are putting yourselves first, okay? I sense that some of you guys are making future plans, are preparing for the future. We have King of Pentacles here, as well as the Hierophant card here, Taurus, as well as Virgo or Capricorn here as well. But I do feel like this is um, a level of commitment here, leveling up, or with this Hierophant card here, some of you guys are looking at a marriage. What messages do you have for Pisces? Let's see what we have for Pisces. December 15th through the 30th, 31st. Pisces had a really great reading for December the 1st through the 15th. Really, really great energy um, for Pisces. Let's see how we're going to finish this month out for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? 
Sun, Moon, and Rising Pisces, please. One message to you have for Pisces. We have success. We have victory. We have a lot of attention, the attention being on you, okay? We also have up underneath that is the devil card, okay? So this could be, I'm sensing like publicity or um, negative. Someone could be, um, I'm just sitting here with that devil card. This is the card of Capricorn as well, but I feel like I'm sensing like publicity or um, gossip type of energy here. You're in control. Okay, you're definitely in control, Pisces. Some of you guys are very intuitive. I'm sensing even psychic. Um, there could have possibly been a breakup here with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. But I'm sensing being in the lead. I feel like you feel in control here. We got the Emperor card which is the card of Aries, but this definitely talks about being in the lead, being in control, okay? This is the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, but this does talk about your finances as well. And why I say your finances as well, because we have the ace of pentacles here as well as this happened, but this is like the right, the right decision, the right time, the right place, like the opportunity is there for you to be in the lead, okay? Or for you to take control over a situation. I'm sensing that some of you guys are like psychic. I'm sensing psychic, intuitive, um, because we have the moon card, which is the card. Both of these cards are Pisces cards, um, the moon and the high priestess. But both of these cards together definitely symbolizes to me psychic or clairvoyant or clairaudience or some type of special gift. Okay. Very intuitive energy. And I say that as well here, too, because we have the Page of Swords here. Now, this could be talks about gossip or this could be, you know, speaking some type of truth here. Maybe there is some type of news, um, some type of news that you received and you're like, I knew about that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. My intuition was telling me that. I feel like some of you guys possibly are wanting to take some time off or want to take a break. Here with this four of swords, this does talk about meditating and thinking really heavily on a situation, you know, or possibly even taking a break from a situation. Um, we do have the queen of wands here, which is fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but this does talks about taking action. This Queen of Wands, she is like a go getter. She is, she is very, very courageous. She goes after exactly what it is that she wants. She doesn't have any fear. She's she's go. She goes and does exactly what it is that she wants. She goes. She's a go getter. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are tired and feeling the need to. You kind of want to take a break or give yourself some time to think something through. But I feel like going into the near future, um, there could be some type of communication here or some type of offer here. Or maybe you're hoping for an offer with this star card, which is the card of Aquarius, okay? So maybe you're hoping to get some type of news or some type of offer or hoping that someone is going to make, maybe there's a decision that needs to be made. It could have something to do with home life or marriage here with this four of wands. But I feel like a decision is possibly um, going to need to be made. Maybe some news. Maybe you're going to get receive some type of news or some type of message. And you're hoping that um, a decision is, is going to be made. 
I want to know why this emperor card is here. Why is the emperor here? I feel like you're hoping that this that this is some good news, possibly going to bring some type of stability. Clarify the emperor. All right, we got the five of swords. So this talks about defeat as well as some type of conflict. But with this justice card here under this, as well as the sun card, I feel like there's a sense of trying to balance out something. I feel like you feel in control because there was a need to find some type of balance on the situation. I feel like you feel as if everything is going to be okay. You feel like things are going to be balanced, okay? You're going to find some type of balance. Why is the king of pentacles here? All right, we got that King of Wands, okay? So this could be, some of you guys are feeling guarded, feeling the need to be guarded. It's like watching how you move or watching, I, I definitely do feel like watching your moves, okay? Being cautious about how you move. Um, there could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, that you're kind of feeling the need to be a little cautious about. I feel like you want to be more in control of the situation. You want everything to go. You feel like if you're in control of it, then it'll go as it needs to go. Like, it'll work out in your favor. Everything will balance out. But I, I'm really curious as to see why this Three of Swords is here with this Queen of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here? This Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Okay. I feel like there could have possibly been like a, a split. I feel like there could have possibly been a split, a break, and things have changed. And you're feeling like you're more in control of the situation. There could have been something that your intuition was telling you really, really heavy. Like you had a hunch about something. And you was like, you know what? I knew that. I knew it. I knew that, that it was going to turn like that. I knew that was going to happen. But I feel like some of you guys are like taking a break from the situation or, you know, are thinking about what type of action or, or how you're going to move forward in the situation. Maybe some of you have decided to give the situation some time. But I feel like you're hoping to hear some good news coming into the near future, okay? And it could be something involving marriage or it could be something involving stability or home life. What's the four of wands here? No, this is about a relationship. This is about stability. This is about... Um, this is about stability. It could involve family. It could involve family with this four of wands and this 10 of pentacles, but this definitely is family involved or this is a marriage or this is about stability or home life, okay? So maybe you're hoping to hear some good news. Maybe some of you are in control of, the, of your finances too. But for some reason, I'm sensing like feeling sad, maybe because you're wanting things to change here, possibly financially. And I feel like you could possibly want more control over, over that. What additional messages? Give me something past, present, and future. I want to see past, present, and future for Pisces. For December 15th through the 31st. Past, present, and future energy, please. Two of Cups. All right. So this is about a bond or some type of relationship, all right? So I feel like something is going good for you. Um, something is being successful 
here with the two of cups as well as the six of wands so this is success in love or a partnership or it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship it can be a certain type of business partnership whatever type of partnership i feel like things are looking good okay I feel like you getting you're getting over some some type of conflict about what someone has to say or what someone said. I feel like there's a sense of moving on from that. Being a bigger person, you feel like you're better than that. So you know, it's a sense of getting over something as well. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also see Sagittarius. But I feel like in the past, I feel like there's a sense of like, we got the five of pentacles, which talks about feelings of being rejected or left out in the cold or uh, having financial issues. But I feel like I'm sensing like somebody got put out of, of a relationship or there's a sense of rejecting of rejection someone was feeling rejected or left out in a relationship i'm sensing like pisces cancer scorpio i feel like you're definitely planning for the future you're preparing for the future you're, you're preparing for a bright future you see something bright ahead um and i do feel like going into the near future i feel like there possibly could be um a little bit of disappointment here with this four of cups Four of Cups does talk about disappointment or, you know, not feeling, you know, as if, like, you're not happy, okay? You're like, whatever, you know, what, you know, just not, this is even like feeling like down or depressed. Um, but I feel like, keep this in mind, right behind that to clarify is the temperance card. So there's healing, okay? I feel like there's healing but i feel like there's a sense of being like trapped in your head or stuck in your head about something but i feel like there's going to be a balance or some type of healing going into the near future okay so maybe someone is around you could possibly be feeling down all the time or someone that you're affiliated with or in the circle with that's possibly down but i feel like there's going to be some um healing or some type of balance here okay with this temperance card which is the card of sagittarius why is this empress here all right we got the lover's card okay so the lover's card and the empress this is like a new beginning deciding to on a new beginning to start something fresh i feel like there's something that you have decided to move on from possibly a little bit of conflict um he say she say and i feel like some of you guys have decided to move on from move on from that clarify the six of swords we have the hermit card okay which is the card of virgo but i feel like some of you guys have decided to you know you thought about it you did your soul search and you decided that you're going to let the situation go and move on from it i feel like some of you guys are preparing you you're too busy preparing for a, for a bright future you're really not studying you know what somebody else has to say or what somebody else feel right now i do feel like in the past i feel like there's a sense of someone's feeling rejected or left out so i feel like i'm definitely sensing like somebody's unhappy here with this five of pentacles and this ten of cups so this is like reject being rejected or not feeling like you belong okay and I, it could involve a pisces cancer scorpio but I do feel like there's going to be some type of healing, some type of balance is going to be brought into the near future, okay? I feel like you're going to come out of feeling stuck. Whoever this is, that is in this that is in this situation here with you. Because for some reason, I'm sensing that it's not Pisces that's feeling left out or, or feeling a little down. I'm feeling like it's someone that is around or you're surrounded around that could possibly be feeling this type of way um and i feel like there's some type of healing 
that is going to come into play in the near future. All right, Pisces, that's going to be your reading for December 15th through the 31st. All right. So let me know what's going on in the comment section. Y'all, y'all know I like my comments. And don't forget to like if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. All right. Ciao for now, guys.